Step number five is this is the crucial and the most important step in this process of learning three ball juggling. Once you master this one, there is a little step to juggle with three balls. So it's the cascade with two balls. So what I'm actually doing, in the very first step we have to this draw and now in the, in, within the same time one more throw we add. So and the throws are identical. So one is, is being thrown from right, one from left. It's exactly the same way. It's not this, it's the same throw. So we have this little window when I release here in front of me. When the first ball reaches the peak in this corner, at this point start to fall, I throw the second ball exactly the same way from the middle to the other side. It's always important to try to practice both, both sides immediately. So it's right, left, break, left, right. Right, left, left, right. So, <clears throat> when you will practice this, um, I think you will experience several, several things. First is that you will get too hectic. So, if the people are too hectic, then you have suddenly all the balls in the air, and then you have to throw. If you throw them fast, you have to catch them fast. But this is almost, this is very hard. So therefore, the rhythm is very important. So. In this process, help you to it will help you to speak speak the so I could speak for example down and throw down and throw down and throw catch down and throw catch down and throw 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 so on purpose it's a bit, a bit tricky, the text is long, but in this, this way, when you speak it, you will get the right timing to do the throws properly. So remember it's just one ball at a time, it's, it's not, you don't have to be quick, there is plenty of time. Um, if, you, if you throw to, to the front, for example the second ball, you will experience yourself stepping in order to catch. It's because you, you throw the second ball too far. So in this you could practice in front of the wall to have a to have a physical barrier and <coughs> which will help you to, to keep the right right plane and your your brain will process it faster when you when you have the barrier. It's easier when someone is stopping you than, than learning yourself this. So this is one way. Another way is if you experience for sure a lot of dropping, which we haven't talked yet about. Don't see this as a failure. See it rather as an information. So it's part of the, it's inherent part of the, of the whole process so dropping is, is there it's, you cannot <laughs> learn, juggle, learn to juggle without dropping so if this is too, too much and you, you drop it's not working you can also practice on your knees and in this way um, you don't have to always wrap right, uh, run behind the balls. Mm. If it's still too too complex, you can uh, focus only on the throwing. So I, for now, I I ignore the catching. I just focus on the correct how to throw correctly the two balls. So like this, I have to process less information. It's just okay. Important. Okay, how can I throw the balls correctly? So it's down and throw, down and throw. Bam, bam. If it's too fast, they fall down too fast. And you can, you have an immediate response to it. So it's... 
Again, right left, left right. Try to have the same height. The toes are identical. Again, release your elbows, your shoulders. And try to do it most effective as you can. The, the less effort you can uh, perform. If this is fine and you don't throw any more to the front, now you can start with catching. So I could, for example, just try to catch the first ball. So I, I do right, left, and I just catch the first ball. Left, right. Or I could just focus on the second ball and let the first one drop. That's it. If that works, um, you are relaxed and <laughs> comfortable, you can catch both balls. The speaking, even metronome could help you just to to have the right timing, not, not rushing, not throwing. If it's too much, always make, take a step back. You can go on your knees, use the wall, you can practice about the couch, on the bed, don't run always behind the balls, after the balls. Um, yes. Step number five.